Hey everyone, Dave here and welcome to Killer Frequency Overview. Okay, so first I thought this game is gonna be like, you know, just yet another horror for the platform. But now reading the description and the whole setting, like it's hilarious. <laughs> Finally, I'm not the person that is being chased by the killer, but instead I can send other people to their demise, like it's so juicy. So Killer Frequency is a horror comedy puzzle game where as a freshly recruited DJ of Gallows Creek you're put on a nighttime shift in the radio station to discover that there's some stuff going down in the city and you're there to respond for multiple peoples calling you back and try to save their lives. The whole concept is pretty funny like you're there to decide the fate of various callers that are in the situation of being just killed. So this is gonna be purely like audio based decision making simulator game which I don't see it as a problem. The art style seems to be leaning into cell shading though I don't think like 100% into it. There will be some clues to look around, some dialogues to just pay attention to. Pretty much you can't judge the gameplay from the trailer because with a specific genre like that you just need to be aware of the situation and react to like dialogue branches and navigating through them. Still it's pretty doubtful we're gonna make it a playthrough but who knows anything can happen. Let's go save someone. Okay. So we have like smooth lock about the turning is snap one. And there's no other choice. See like there's some stuff going on with games like that. They just do it halfway. I don't know why, but it's very weird. Is someone here? <laughs> What the hell? That's not how it's supposed to start. Where's my radio station? No, 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 no. What? Ah, oh, shit, myself. What the hell? <laughs> you, uh, you hear something, Peggy? Huh? Hear what? I thought I heard someone yelling, or, I don't know, uh, how? Forrest, is this a joke? No, I, <laughs> I almost swore I heard something. Oh, and here I was thinking you'd finally started to ease up. You probably just heard some cats outside. Cats? You know, four legs, whiskers, tails, not dogs. <laughs> I know what a cat is, but I mean, does Gallows Creek have a straight cat problem or something? <laughs> not since the rats moved in. Anyway, you ready to do the pre-flight checks? Seriously? Do we have to do these checks every time? And do you have to call them that? Reggie pays us to check the equipment before each show, and he pays us to call it a pre-flight check. But if you're sure you don't want to... All right, fine. Let's get through this. All righty, this is your captain speaking. Really? Come on, let's have a bit of fun with it for once. Buckle in, folks. We're about to hit some tubular rents. Let's start with record playing. <sighs> okay. Grab a record, stick it on the player, and hit play. Easy. I mean, I don't know any of those. 
Uh, Forrest, you need to grab a record and stick it on the turntable. Thank you. Got it. What? All right, up next, phone line buttons. Your captain will be waiting to take your call on line one. I mean, I wish I would do it. Line one is the leftmost button. All right, Peggy, ready for you on line one. Who's Peggy? This is Captain Donald Key calling. Call me Don. You get it? Yeah, it's a riot. Great, and button two works just the same. So, let's move to the Peggy button. You mean the producer line? Like I said, the Peggy button. <laughs> Press it when you need my help during the show. Hmm, is there a Peggy mute button? They haven't invented it yet. Now come on, the Peggy button is the third one on the phone line. I labeled it for you. <sighs> Press for Peggy. This is your brain, Forrest. Sorry I made you such an unfun turkey. I'm a turkey now, am I? Okay. Are we almost done? <laughs> Sound blaster next. That's an easy one. There we go. Always good for a cheap laugh. All right, we're almost done. Just the volume sliders left. These should let you affect pretty much everything. But let's test it with a record. Play a record and change the volume with the music slider. It's very easy to understand. Sliders should be right in front of you. Like, directly in front. Alright. Seems to be all working. We done? Captain? <laughs> we sure are. Coming in for landing. Local time? Ah, should not encourage you. I knew you had a fun side. It's my fun side that gets me in trouble. Now, let's get the show started. After your introduction, our first segment is Guess That Scream. I thought that was a joke. Nope, and don't blame me for this one. It's Reggie all the way, and he demands we do it tonight. Okay, Forrest, shut the music off. Okay, you're live in three, two... 189.16. Good evening, Gallows Creek. This is your host, Forrest Nash, and you're listening to 189.16, The Scream. Before we start taking your calls tonight on Gallows Creek's only late-night phone-in talk show, I need to let you know about a special competition we have for you this evening. <sighs> Guess that scream. This is actually one of the station manager's better ideas. Here's how it works. I'm going to play you a scream, then you call and... Guess that scream. <laughs> we need you to guess why they're screaming. Did they stub their toe, saw off a finger, or discover the corpse of a loved one? That's good. Now, Forrest, hit them with the tape. We'll play that scream in just a second. Listen close, and then call in to guess that scream. Peggy, what do you mean, play the tape? I used to have a tape guy do that for me. You're not in Chicago anymore, Forrest. Here in Gallows Creek, you get to be your own tape guy. Come on, I gave it to you yesterday. Forrest, you do have the tape right. You knew we were doing this tonight. Peggy, let's be real. Guess that scream is a terrible idea. No, I, I don't have the tape. It may be a stupid idea, but that doesn't mean it can't be fun. We're going to need a scream tonight, Forrest, and you're the one at the mic, so... No. <laughs> oh my god. Peggy, I may have sunk low, but I have not sunk that low. I won't do it. Come on, Forrest, just do it. That's enough dead air already. Just think of a scream and let it rip. Oh god. Sorry about that. <laughs> I'm back. I had to step away there for a second. Listen close, and then call in to guess that scream. <laughs> Such enthusiasm. <laughs> that should be funny. Yeah. 
<sighs> well, folks, there you have it. Call in with your guesses, and if you get it right, you could win two tickets to the amazing Maze Maze and one free fried dough. Fried dough? Just call in at 555-239-KFAM with your guess. Now, here's some music while you get dialing. Time to go on the journey that is Blast Processor with their hit song, 1980X. Thanks. I can't wait to hear what people think that was. <laughs> How the hell did I get into this mess? Light enough, Forrest. That's gonna be the highlight of my week. Why she is behind like a creepy mirror and stuff? Red light? Really? Oh, Forrest, there's a call coming in. Time to turn the music off. Where's the thing? Okay, Forrest, shut the music off. Okay, the volume does not uh, work. Welcome to 189.16, The Scream, caller. You're talking to Forrest Nash. What's going on with you tonight? Forrest, thank God I made it through. My name is Leslie Harper. I'm the 911 operator and police dispatcher for Gallows Creek. Well, Leslie. I guess it must be a slow night for crime if you've got time to call in. What can we do for you? Slow night? Forrest, I found a body. I need help. Forrest, I recognize her voice. I'm pretty sure that actually is our 911 operator. I think this is real. Peggy, I'm not going to be happy if this is a prank. I don't do prank segments on my shows. It's in my contract. Forrest, I really don't think this is a prank. My god, the drift. <laughs> Leslie, if you're telling the truth, you should report this to the sheriff. What was his name? Sheriff Andrews or whatever? I'm at the sheriff's office right now. Wait, what? Sheriff Matthews is dead. What? Sheriff Matthews is dead? I couldn't get any response from the department. That's never happened before, so I came to the station and... I found him. Oh god, poor Sheriff Matthews. Do you know what happened to him? Someone got him. Someone got up very close and... I really don't want to say what they did to him. Did he fight back? I don't know. I think he tried. He's surrounded by bullet casings. I think he tried to shoot at whoever it was, but... Boy, is, is anyone else at the station? Anyone who can help you? Or... Or who might be responsible? No. I checked everywhere. Deputy Martinez is here, but she's knocked out, tied up, and locked in a holding cell. I called you right after I found her. God. Wait. Please don't tell me that this hick town only has two cops. Don't be ridiculous. We have three. But Officer Gunderson is on leave in Cancun. Leslie, do you have any idea who could have done this? Not a clue. I didn't see anything on my way over. Leslie, you need to call over to Henderson or Quiet Ridge. They need to send someone over from their department. I tried, but I can't call anything but local numbers. Something's wrong. I'll have to go there myself. Let them know what's going on and bring help back with me. But if you leave while there's a murderer on the loose, who's gonna man the emergency line? That's why I called. Forrest, I've routed all 911 calls to come in to you. Yeah, exactly. Why me? I'm a radio talk show host, Leslie. I talk to idiot people about their idiot ideas. I'm not a 911 operator. Why me? You're the only person with experience manning a phone line around here. You're the only person equipped for the job. Besides, there are lots of transferable skills between the two. It's like an interview. You ask questions to get information you can use. Keep people talking, you know? Guide the conversation and know when to jump in. You do know that I'm so good at interviews, they sent me from Chicago to Gallows Creek, right? So I've heard. But that doesn't matter. 
And besides, there are two of you. You can talk to each other, discuss ideas, work together. Hell, let's have some on-the-job training right now. I have an emergency. I need to get an unconscious Deputy Martinez out of that holding cell. It looks like whoever attacked her threw the keys into the cell after they locked the door. Is there any way you can reach the keys? No. There aren't any bars to the cell, and the door itself only has a food tray slot. And that's too narrow for me to reach through. There's gotta be another way in. There's gotta be another set of keys somewhere in that office. Those can't be the only ones. Of course. Yes, there must be another set. Where might another set be? Maybe Sheriff Matthews had a set of keys on him when he... You know. I couldn't see any at a glance, but... I didn't really look up close. One second. It's like now we were gliding. Oh, I think I might be sick. Sorry, Sheriff. I'm gonna turn you over and... Oh. Please don't stare at me. I... Oh, wait. That might be them. I, I, th I think I got the cell keys. Looks like Sheriff Matthews might have saved his deputy. Do the keys work? They do. Give me a minute to untie Deputy Martinez. I'll be right back. So far, so good, I suppose. How are you feeling, Forrest? <sighs> I don't know how to feel, actually, <laughs> like... Yeah, that seemed to go okay. Maybe Leslie was right. Maybe we can handle this 911 business. That's the spirit, Forrest. I think you're right. Though, I have to say, I... Well, I really hope this is the only call like this we get. Same. Come on, Martinez. There we go. I'm just gonna sit you in your office chair. I'll head to my car in a minute. I'm back. Deputy Martinez is still out cold. I'm taking her in the car with me to get help in Henderson. If the killer came back now, Martinez would be a sitting duck. That's a good idea. We don't want to take any risks right now. Thank you, Forrest. You and Peggy just worked together like you did earlier. You can do this. Now I'll be back as soon as I can. Well. What? My car! My car is on fire! What do you mean it's on fire? How the hell? Did it just go up in smoke? What happened? Wait. What? No. Oh. No the whistling. Well, Forrest, we have big trouble. What's happening? Uh, what's that noise? It sounds like... Whistling? Whistling? It can't be. Oh my god. I can see him, but he's dead, right? Right? With that mask, and how the hell is he? Who, Leslie? Who? The whistling man. The whistling man? Who's the whistling man? He was a serial killer back in the 50s, wore that mask. But he's dead. He's... What the hell? Oh, god. Do you think... You think he attacked Sheriff Matthews and Deputy Martinez? He's coming this way. Leslie, stay inside and lock the doors. Right. Oh, that was her first action. Shit, we need a new plan. My car is torched. We need to think. There should be police cruisers at the sheriff's office, right? Like, you should take one of those. I... Yeah. Yeah, that could work. Let me check if Martinez has any. Uh, just reach into your pocket there, deputy. Yeah. She's so stressed. Yes, got him. Keys for squad car three. I saw that parked out front when I got here. Nice one, Forrest. Good thinking. But wait. How am I supposed to get us to the car? The whistling man is right there. I don't know because this he used the bullets already Deputy Martinez surely carries a gun right could you use that Deputy Martinez's gun is missing I guess the whistling man must have done something with it 
The sheriff must have a gun, right? Can, can you see it? There was a gun next to him. Let me grab it. I... Shit. It's empty. He must have emptied it. Okay, but we have to end here because... The time is calling. I mean, the start is very slow and the setting is unique though. I'm not sure if it's something for me specifically, like to just sit here, control some stuff and then talk to people. Like, I feel like this whole thing here is unnecessary because we just click at the boxes with the dialogues we hear to stuff. I guess there will be some other things going on later on, like searching on the maps for the instructions. Maybe even going out, like, she's the one creepy here, not the killer. It's a very niche gameplay, kind of similar to this recording game that released before. Some stuff are interactional, some you just, like, you know, have to press buttons and then it happens. Like, I wish it would be, like, fully going into it. Though it is a port of some sort or, like, a multiple platform release. So for that specific situation, it's not that bad. It definitely gets you invested because you have to pay attention to what's going on in the background and with the noises and stuff. Listen to the conversations and what have happened before because I'm sure later on the game will like verify if you actually like read what was going on. Overall, it's okay. It's just not for me. So that's why I'm not like overly enthusiastic about it. The art style is cute and the gameplay is okay. So overall, it's like an average score.